everyone and welcome to My Natural Hair Delights where you can enjoy rocking your natural hair with all natural ingredients. In today's video, this video is going to be about bad hair day, okay? What causes a bad hair day? As you can see, my hair is not its best and most of the times when I post videos, it's all shiny, smooth, silky, shiny, smooth, right? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you what my hair looks like when I don't apply anything to my hair and when I have not washed it, co-washed it, or deep conditioned it. And so, um, yeah, so this is what my hair looks like. It can get very frizzy. It can get a little cranky. Uh, yeah, it can get a little bit of everything, <laughs> okay? So it still looks good, still looks beautiful, but it is time to co-wash, wash, and deep condition my hair. And deep conditioning is very important because you want to keep your hair fresh looking. Um, you, want to, you want it to stay hydrated with all natural ingredients. I just recently posted a reel on um, how to make an all natural deep condition. I haven't just like shown in detail of how I made it, but I simply just showed what the conditioner looks like and the ingredients and how much uh, oils I have applied to the deep conditioner. So um, I also have two tutorials of how to make your own deep conditioner. Um, and I also have tutorials of how to co-wash your hair, how to make a co-wash. Um, conditioner and how to make an all natural shampoo and I'm actually going to update the co-wash conditioner because I found a way to make it thicker um, so stay tuned for that but yes yeah, so this is what my hair looks like um, it deserves a deep conditioning treatment it deserves a co-wash and a hair wash okay so what which step do you do first first you do the co-washing, okay? You co-wash your hair first. The reason why you co-wash your hair is because you want to remove the product buildup from your hair, especially around your edge. All of the, the oils, the dirt, the butters, all of that, um, when it's left in your hair for a long period of time, it's time to remove that. And the best natural ingredients that I have found to remove that is aloe vera and apple cider vinegar, okay? Everything else can be added to it, but those are the main two ingredients that you can use to co-wash your hair, okay? Um, I do have a tutorial of that, so if you would like to go in, into more detail of how to make a co-wash, um, go check my video out, okay? The next step after co-washing is washing your hair, okay? I wash my hair with African black soap. That's what I use to wash my hair after I co-wash. I use African black soap because it's with all natural ingredients and it cleanses my hair thoroughly. I don't have to worry about any dirt left over in my hair and it lathers very, very well. So that's what I love about it as well. And then the last step is the deep conditioning. Now I deep condition my hair, I would say once a month or once every two months. I do have a video of my wash routine. So if you would like to learn more in detail of how to um, wash your hair or, or how, the steps to washing your hair or co-washing your hair, go check out my video, my wash routine. Okay, um, so yeah, so my hair deserves to be treated with care. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you all that when you have a bad hair day that you don't wanna be discouraged. Um, just make sure that you take care of your hair every week, um, at least every two weeks. If you have a hairstyle that lasts for three to four weeks, you just wanna make sure that you wash your hair no more than every four weeks, okay? So um, yeah. It all, it's all about how you treat your hair, how you take care of your hair each week. Now, in order to maintain your hair, you can use a hairspray, which I'm about to start um, making. I have not yet officially made a hairspray yet, but I have been experimenting 
with hairsprays and just testing to see which ingredients I would like to use on my hair and how it can help your hair as well. So stay tuned for that. I will be making a tutorial, an updated tutorial of how to make a hairspray. I do have a couple of tutorials of how to make hairspray, um, but they were very, very beginner-ish, okay? So this was like my first time making hairspray. And so, um, yes, this, this next video of the hairspray tutorial it will be a lot better. And I also just recently made a new natural deep conditioner, which I added coconut milk, avocado, aloe vera, flaxseed oil, avocado oil, one tablespoon of castor oil. Okay, so this is my natural deep conditioner. This is like my most recent natural deep conditioner. I haven't made deep conditioner in a while, but, um, I usually store it in the freezer to preserve it and it usually lasts up to six months. And I'm currently working on uh, applying a natural preservative to the deep conditioner so that it will be ready to ship to you all um, when you all are ready to purchase the natural deep conditioner. But for right now, I just have the Moringa Delight hair butter and the hair growth oil. Okay, those two are essential to your hair when styling your hair. I usually style my hair with flaxseed gel and my Moringa Delight hair butter. And I also apply my hair growth oil to my scalp whenever I need like a scalp treatment, a great scalp treatment. Um, I usually apply the hair growth oil to my scalp. And so you can also apply the hair butter to your scalp your hair strands and your skin okay so it helps to improve your hair it helps to make your hair shinier healthier it also helps your hair to grow as well so um yes i would highly recommend the moringa delight hair butter and hair growth oil okay i know that it can be kind of discouraging to See your hair and like oh my gosh my hair look a hot mess what do I do <laughs> what kind of what kind of emergency hairstyles can I do to my hair um, so one one hairstyle that you can do to your hair when you feel like you don't have enough time to do your hair is a ponytail it's a simple nice ponytail and you can use flaxseed gel you can use guar gum gel um, on your hair and I know there's other natural gels out there. I, I'm just not that familiar with them yet um, But I know that those two Gels are the main gels that I use on my hair when I, whenever I do a slick back ponytail Whether it be in the back or whether it be at the top You can also do a bun. You can do a nice little bun Have kinky curls to the side if you want to spice it up a little bit <laughs> I'm currently still doing the 24 natural hairstyle series. So this video is kind of interrupting the series, but it's really just to show you all that uh, my hair is not perfect. My hair does get frizzy. It gets very nappy. Like right now, you can't really tell because I've been keep, keeping it in braids and I've just been kind of wrapping it up at night. I've been wrapping it up every night, even though uh, my hair gets frizzy, I still, um, I still wrap it up at night to keep it looking fresh. Like, even though it's not at its best, I still wrap it up with the silk and satin wrap every night, okay? Um, so no matter how dry your hair feels, just wanna make sure that you wrap your hair up and spray your hair with some water, with a light mist of water each day to keep your hair hydrated. Um, so those are just some tips that I have learned over the years of taking care of my hair. Just applying the natural ingredients to my hair, but also uh, learning to take care of it each week. And so, yes, I am currently in the process of co-washing, washing and deep conditioning, because it is time. Um, it's been two months since I've deep conditioned my hair, so I know that um, it is very important and you like sometimes you may feel like oh I can just do a quick fix like I can just put some flaxseed gel on it put some um, hair butter on it and you can 
However, don't expect it to last more than a day because your hair, like speaking from experience, my hair can get very, very frizzy very fast if I don't apply the necessary treatment such as deep conditioning to my hair. Um, so if I go without conditioning or deep conditioning my hair for a long period of time, then my hair will just curl up and it will get frizzy and no matter what I apply to it, it's still going to look the same the next day. Like the hair may absorb the moisture a lot faster if I don't do the necessary hair treatment to my hair the way it's supposed to be treated, okay? So, as you can see, there are a couple of before and after pictures. This picture on the left side was simply just me and the kinky twist. Like I had very short kinky twist and I was going through my transition and um, it was very, very thin at the bottom, very thick at the top and very thin at the bottom. And that was because I, I stopped using the perm. So I transitioned from using a perm to going all natural. And so I didn't know that my hair could grow longer when I stopped using the unnatural ingredients and when I stopped applying so much heat to my hair. I actually just stopped flat ironing my hair for a, a, for a while. It's probably going to be the next year or two before I flat iron it. If I even flat iron it again, I'm not really sure. Um, but that's another reason why I'm doing the 24 natural hairstyles. But as you can see on the right side, my hair has grown. And that is because I stopped using the perms. I stopped uh, flat ironing my hair. And I have applied all natural ingredients to my hair, such as Moringa, such as fenugreek, such as flaxseed oil or flaxseed gel, castor oil, coconut oil, avocado oil, sweet almond oil, and coconut milk whenever I'm deep conditioning my hair, and avocados, like the actual avocados, okay, aloe vera. Um, these are the natural ingredients that our hair deserves, okay? Um, mango butter, shea butter. I haven't used shea butter, butter in a while, but I usually use mango butter. Like, it, it's it's kind of hidden. It's like you have to, like, search and find the natural ingredients that is supposed to be on our hair, okay? If you want your hair to grow longer, your hair does not have to stay short, okay? It's all about what you apply to your hair and how you treat it each week. So um, that's something that I have learned over the years. There is another before and after picture. As you can see in this picture, um, I've done eight plaits. And as you can see in the picture on the right, it looks very shiny, it looks longer, it looks healthier. Um, and that is because I, that's when I started to use the natural ingredients. So this picture right here was back in 2019. Um, I, that's when I started to use all natural ingredients. However, I was still using heat. I was still flat ironing my hair at the time. So it took a little longer for my hair to grow the way it was supposed to grow because I was still applying heat to my hair, even though I was using all natural ingredients. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to show you all what the before and after pictures look like and how your hair can grow, okay? How it's supposed to grow, how it deserves to grow. Your hair deserves the best, the very best, okay? Um, your scalp is very, very important because the, the hair growth starts at the scalp. So you wanna make sure that your scalp is healthy, that your scalp is moisturized, which is why I love using the Moringa Delight hair butter because I apply the hair butter to my scalp. You can also use the hair growth oil um, to your scalp as well. And it's the same natural ingredients. The only difference between the oil and the butter is it doesn't have mango butter, or candelilla wax, or cocoa butter. It doesn't have cocoa butter, mango butter, or uh, candelilla wax. However, and the hair butter, it does have mango butter, candelilla wax, and cocoa butter to make it thicker, to make it like a thicker hair moisturizer. 
but if you just if you're just looking for hair growth oil um, it's the same natural ingredients we have moringa powder fenugreek powder we have castor oil avocado oil sweet almond oil we don't have coconut oil in this particular hair growth oil or hair butter um, but there are some other natural ingredients such as the rosemary essential oil grapefruit essential oil and lemongrass essential oil okay and you also have the moringa powder and the fenugreek powder so these are the natural ingredients that i've chosen for you all not just for myself but for all of us to embrace our natural hair with all natural ingredients okay so please please stay tuned to this channel because the more you watch the videos that God has gifted me to provide for you all, I'm going to help you take care of your hair. I'm going to help you grow your natural hair back. Um, and I'm just going to help you to take care of your hair, make your hair shinier, healthier, thicker, fuller, stronger. Like that is how it's supposed to be. So thank you all for watching. Um, I hope that you have learned something from this video. Um, if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share, and subscribe to My Natural Hair Delight. You can also check out more information at my website at www.MyNaturalHairDelight.com. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.